Hello everyone, welcome to Must is Fine. Our lesson for today is all about operations of whole numbers. This includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. First, we're going to discuss about addition of whole numbers. What is addition? All right, addition is putting things all together. Let's study the parts of addition. Five hundred twenty seven and one hundred fifty six are addends. Six hundred eighty three is the sum. What do you mean by addends? All right, addends are numbers to be added. How about sum? Yes, sum is the answer in addition. These are the steps in adding whole numbers. Number one, align the numbers in column. Number two, add from right to left. Regroup if it is needed. To understand further the steps, let's study some examples. 742 plus 245. In adding whole numbers, we're going to align the digits in each number. Then add from right to left. So, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. So the sum is equal to 987. Another example. 2,709 added to 5,648. We're going to add from right to left. 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. 7, the group 1. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. 7 plus 6 is equal to 13. 3, regroup 1. 1 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 8. Therefore, the sum is equal to 8,357. Next, we're going to discuss about Subtraction of whole numbers. What do you mean by subtraction? Alright, subtraction means taking away. Let's study first the parts of subtraction. In this example, 864 is the minuend. What is a minuend? Minuend is the first number in subtraction sentence. And if we write it in column, minuend is the number on top. 537 is the subtrahend. What is a subtrahend? Subtrahend is the number that we subtracted from the minuend. In column form, it is the number below the minuend. Lastly, 327 is the difference. What is a difference? Alright, difference is the answer of subtraction. These are the steps in subtracting whole numbers. Number 1, align the numbers in column. Number 2, subtract from right to left. Regroup if it is needed. Let's study the following examples on how to subtract whole numbers. 746 minus 593. We subtract from right to left. 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. 4 minus 9 cannot be. We borrow 1 from 7. 7 it becomes 6. And 4 it becomes 14. 14 minus 9 is equal to 5. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. The difference is equal to 
153. Another example. 9,609 minus 5,448. So let's subtract from right to left. 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. 0 minus 4 cannot be. Borrow 1 from 6. 6 becomes 5 and 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. The difference is equal to 4,161. Next, we're going to discuss about multiplication of whole numbers. What is multiplication? Alright, multiplication is the act or process of multiplying. Let's study the parts of multiplication. In this example, 864 is the multiplicand. What is a multiplicand? Multiplicand is the number to be multiplied. 2 is the multiplier. What is a multiplier? Multiplier is the number with which we multiply. Lastly, 1,728 is the product. What is a product? Product is the answer of multiplication. These are the steps in multiplying whole numbers. 1. Align the numbers in column. Number 2. Multiply from right to left. Regroup if it is needed. To understand the steps, let's study some examples. 746 times 3. Let's multiply. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. 8, regroup 1. 3 times 4 is equal to 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. 3, regroup 1. 3 times 7 is equal to 21 plus 1 is equal to 22. Therefore, the product is 2,238. Another example, 9,609 times 42. In this example, we have a two digits multiplier. So we're going to multiply first 2 to its digits in our multiplicand. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. 8, regroup 1. 2 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. 2, regroup 1. 2 times 9 is equal to 18 plus 1 is equal to 19. Next, we're going to multiply 4 to its digits in our multiplicand. 4 times 9 is equal to 36. And we write 6 below 1. And we regroup 3. 4 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. 4 times 6 is equal to 24. 4 regroup 2. 4 times 9 is equal to 36 plus 2 is equal to 38. Then we're going to add the partial products. Bring down 8. 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. 3 regroup 1. 1 plus 1 plus 8 is equal to 10. 0 regroup 1. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Therefore, the product is 403,578. The last but not the least is division of whole numbers. What is division? Alright, division is the act or process of dividing. Let's study the parts of division. In this example, 875 is the dividend. What is a dividend? Dividend is the number in which we divide. 25 
is the divisor. What is a divisor? Divisor, it is a number that divides another number either completely or with a remainder. Lastly, 35 is the quotient. What is a quotient? Quotient is the answer of division. Let's study the following examples. To divide large numbers, we write it in column. Here, 528 is the dividend and 6 is the divisor. We divide from the leftmost digit in our dividend by the divisor. So 5 divided by 6 cannot be. We are going to take 2 digits. 52 divided by 6 is equal to 8. 8 times 6 is equal to 48. Then let's subtract. 52 minus 48 is equal to 4. Then bring down 8. 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8. 8 times 6 is equal to 48. 48 minus 48 is equal to 0. Therefore, the quotient is 88. Another example, 4,800 divided by 25. So, 4,800 is the dividend and 25 is the divisor. So, let's divide. 4 divided by 25 cannot be. We take two digits. 48 divided by 25 is equal to 1. We write 1 on top of 8. 1 times 25 is equal to 25. Then let's subtract. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Then bring down 0. 230 divided by 25 is equal to 9. 9 times 25 is equal to 225. Let's subtract. 230 minus 225 is equal to 5. Then bring down 0. 50 divided by 25 is equal to 2. 2 times 25 is equal to 50. 50 minus 50 is equal to 0. Therefore, the quotient is 192. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.